Good morning, church. Uh, it's Josh Turner coming to you from Washington. Peace be to you. I hope your weeks and days have been treating you well. I was thinking the other day about how God deals with us when it comes to who we should be around and who he allows with his sheep. And this may sound a little weird, but try to follow along. If not, look at your phones and, you know, do something else for three or four minutes. But I run a daycare where we have 60 dogs that come in every day. Now, they're not always the same dogs. I've probably got a 1,000 dogs registered, but we take in 60 a day. And then I also have dogs who I train on my off time, like this guy, good boy Garm. And one of the things I know is that to be in my facility, there are rules. The dogs have to be able to do certain things and they also have to already have done certain things. So if they're a certain age, they already have had to be spayed or neutered. If they are going to stay long days at our facility, they need to be able to take breaks without barking the whole time. Things like this. Now, I know details about my dogs that work that even their owners don't know because their owners never see them around 60 other dogs. So they don't know how they would react, how they deal with the stress of that situation, these things. But I know those things. I know which dogs have allergies, which dogs don't like other dogs, which dogs won't put up with certain things and which dogs will. But what I know more than anything is that every dog who calls me their master, they have to do certain things. And they have to also allow the other dogs to do certain things. So every once in a while, I have to have a conversation with a dog owner where I have to let them know that their dog is no longer welcome at our facility. And what naturally comes with this is they're, they feel horrible, guilt, shame, my dog's bad, he's broken, these kind of things. And that's not really what happens. What it is is I have other sheep, other dogs that I have to make sure that I take care of. And I have to make sure that they interact a certain way. And if that's the case, your dog is disrupting that process. Now, it may be because your dog doesn't really want to be here. It could be a hundred things. But the point of this, and to bring it back to the gospel, not all dogs are allowed around my dogs because not all dogs have my dog's best interest at heart. Not all dog owners have taught their dogs the proper way. Now, if they're willing to leave them with me and let me teach them, I can teach them a better way. But if what they want is for me to hold the leash while I do what they do, the answer is no. It's much like when certain dog owners will ask my opinion about their dog. And what they really want is they would like me to say their opinion in a deep voice. That's all. They don't really want my opinion. So what this comes down to, church, is I'm very selective about who I hang out with. I'm very selective about who gets to come to my house. I'm very selective about who I allow around the people I care about. And that's not because other people are bad. It's because my king has charged me with keeping his ways and guiding those people that I have been put in charge of. So I can't allow just anyone to come in. If you're willing to follow the rules, you can come. If you're not, it's okay that you're not here. I think this is the same with the gospel. Everyone is welcome. The call to Jesus is open. But once you get to him, the call of following him is not an open call. It's not follow Jesus as you will and do what you would like, and then we'll call that following Jesus. Jesus gave us specific things. Love is not optional. I don't care if you like the person. I'm not allowed to hit dogs just because I don't like them. You must love the dog. Helping is not optional. If somebody has worked up the courage and they've buried their pride enough to come to you 
and say, I need help. I think it's our job to do that. Helping is not the same as enabling. Please don't get those confused. But if they need help and you're capable, don't say no. But make sure you know who you let in. Make sure you understand who's around the people you care about. And make sure you know that tolerating behavior that is bad for your current pack of sheep or pack of dogs, that is not what a shepherd does. That is not what a leader does. Leaders don't tolerate unwanted behavior because the thing doing it doesn't want to be corrected. They correct the thing doing it. And if the thing doing it doesn't want to stay corrected, then it won't be part of the pack anymore. You don't have to be friends with everybody who wants to be friends with you. You don't have to speak to everybody who wants your talk. Cultivate your life. Focus on Jesus. Keep the snakes out. I love you all, church. Go in peace.